Hey guys, you have probably been working with square roots and then maybe they put a little three here and you were like, what is happening? Okay, so you're probably familiar with square roots. You've probably been doing them for a while, right? Square root of nine is three. Square root of 100 is 10 because three times three gives me nine, right? 10 times 10 gives me 100. So what they're asking here when that little three is there is they're asking what number times itself three times gives me that number instead of two, okay? So there really is, um, on a normal, I say normal, on the one we're more used to seeing that's just like that, there really is like a two here. We just don't normally draw it, okay? But it is technically there, okay? But now it's a three. So we wanna know what number multiplied by itself three times gives me 27. Now you might've already figured it out, but let me show you um, how to do it if, if the answer isn't obvious to you, which a lot of times it won't be, okay? So we're gonna break this down. Three times nine gives me 27, right? And I'm going to circle once I get to a prime number, which means it can't be broken down anymore. And then um, nine is three times three, okay? So another way to write 27 is three times three times three. Okay, so what number multiplied by itself three times gives me 27? Well, it's three. I did not intend there to be that many threes in this problem, but there you go. All right, if you need some more examples, some more radical help, <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, I'll link a playlist.